Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian Barry. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a sample of what I eat in a day. I'm not going to be taking you through my whole day, but I'm going to be showing you exactly sort of what my daily diet consists of lately. It's amazing. It gives me so much energy. Going raw vegan has changed my life like nothing else in this whole world. It, it just makes me feel absolutely fantastic. So it's also not boring at all. It's very tasteful and very exciting. So you want to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you my favorite pasta curry dish that's all raw at the end of this video and I cannot recommend it enough. Let's get started. Normally I start my day with the supplements because supplements are absolutely necessary on a vegan diet. I have created a video about B12 that I will be releasing at some point for you to watch as well. It is absolutely crucial. There are vitamins you do need if you're going to choose this type of lifestyle. So the first one I take every day is definitely the B12, which is very important. I also take iodine. So I take this fresh kelp, these drops, because you lack this on a vegan diet. And then I live in Toronto, Canada, so I also take some vitamin D as well. And there are a few other things that are crucial and key on a raw vegan or vegan diet, like selenium, which you can get from taking, like a lot of people take one Brazil nut a day. But I have also recently discovered, something was recommended to me, it's a supplement that has all these different things like zinc, selenium, magnesium, uh, B12, iodine, all these things wrapped into one supplement. So I have just ordered that. If I do love it, I will show you in future videos. Okay, so my first meal of the day lately is some light fruit. That's what I love when I wake up in the morning. It's light, it digests easily, and it just makes you feel great. How I start the day lately is with some beautiful papaya. Papaya is my absolute favorite fruit and food in the whole world. It is so tasty and delicious and makes me feel incredible. So with papaya, you just cut it open like this, if you didn't know. So there we go. It's so beautiful. And papaya has so many benefits. Actually, Christopher Columbus, Christopher Columbus called it the fruit of the angels. Get on in on this. It is so good. I absolutely love it. I choose to eat it without the seeds. I know some people like to eat the seeds and they do have a lot of benefits, but for me, I do not enjoy the taste. So I scoop the seeds out and then I cube it up or I, or you can just scoop the seeds out and eat it with a spoon, which I do most of the time. It's usually about two bowls I eat or the papaya just with a spoon out of it like that. So papaya is also super high in enzymes, digestive enzymes as well, and it's very high in fiber and water content. So if you're having any constipation problems or anything like that, I would recommend trying papaya in the morning. It's great and it really gets your bowels moving. About an hour or two after I feel like the papaya has digested and I'm hungry again, I will make lately my favorite green juice. So this is my signature green juice. Everyone I make it for loves it and it makes you feel incredible after. So I'll show you what the recipe is for this. For this juice, it is one head of romaine, one stalk of celery, one zucchini, one cucumber, a little bit of parsley. So I'll take about a handful of this. Parsley is very detoxifying and I can just feel the effects of this when I put it in my juice. And then I will also use one lemon and a little bit of ginger. Here we have our beautiful green juice. So much life and so much energy in this for your cells and your body. Your body will love it. My body does. An hour or two after the green juice, I usually have the green juice late morning. I will have lately some mangoes. Mangoes are in season, which is why I'm trying to enjoy those in abundance because they are in season so they taste even better. Many people don't realize how exactly to cut mangoes, so I will show you a great technique for that right now. So you will go down on the one side, right around where it feels, so the pit is right in the middle about that. You'll go to where you feel just the outside of where the pit is, and then you cut it off on either side. So like the tall way up and down, you'll cut around the pit two sides like that. And you'll want to go down like this in lines, not right to the bottom, but as close to the bottom as you can, but not hitting the bottom. And then like this, and then you'll want to go this way too, so you'll do horizontally and vertically like this we have our beautiful mangoes and if you want to get total maximum use of this mango what a lot of people do a lot of raw vegans and vegans they peel all of the skin off and then they just like literally just suck everything off and eat it like that and you get more from doing that too it's delicious i do that so here we go it is lunchtime when i'm hungry lately around lunch i make these amazing wraps i love these so What's great about these is they don't use a heavy breaded wrap or a dehydrated wrap, which is really hard to digest and leaves you feeling tired after. These leave me feeling very energized and feeling amazing and ready to take on the rest of my day. I actually use collard greens. These are perfect and they're very tough to use as a wrap and to hold. Well, I get these large ones at my local Whole Foods and they are amazing. Collards have so many benefits. They're actually really good for your hair and your nails as well and your mood and having a better and more improved sleep as well. 
So you want to take two leaves. I don't do this, but what's ideal is use your paring knife and you can cut along through there. I fill these at my lunchtime with very simple ingredients. I will start the base with a little bit of smushed up avocado inside of it. One thing I want to say about an avocado is it's high in fat, so it's a bit heavy and can make you feel a bit tired if you eat too many avocados. So it's kind of ideal for me at least to do half an avocado with my lunch and most people don't realize to preserve the other half if you want to you can squeeze lime juice all over it and put it in a container and it'll still be good later that day because otherwise it does go brown and turn bad very quickly if it's just sitting at room temperature microgreens or sprouts are an excellent addition to these wraps here we have our beautiful wraps these are amazing and i've stuffed them with super simple ingredients i have some microgreens some organic bell pepper, organic cucumber, tomato, and avocado as the base. If you prefer, you could use a dressing. I have a great raw vegan ranch dressing video that you can check out and maybe you could use some ranch in here or dip it in some ranch. There's many things you can do. And these wraps are great. So in the afternoon, I get hungry for a snack. I don't know when, whenever my body feels hungry next, an hour or two after lunch. Usually I have some blueberries, which are good for your mood and make me feel good. It's proven two hours after you eat some blueberries, your mood has increased a decent amount and it definitely works for me. And then after that, I usually have some snap peas. I think these are super underrated. My kids actually love these too. They're a great snack for kids and you just eat them raw. Let's get ready to show you what I've been making for dinner lately. It is my favorite recipe in the whole world. It's a zucchini noodle pasta dish and the sauce is a curry. It's delicious. So I'll give you the recipe for that and let's show you how to do that right now. I'm going to introduce you to the best curry dish you've ever had. So I actually got this from Fully Raw Christina's YouTube channel. I love her YouTube channel for amazing recipes. This is a curry sauce that is used. I use it with uh, raw zucchini noodles. So this is a great replacement from a traditional pasta and it's a very satisfying dish, especially, especially for a raw vegan dish. I spiralized my noodles in my zucchini spiralizer right here, which you see, you can get one on Amazon and they're super easy to use. We will use three peeled navel oranges, three cups of cherry tomatoes, and I will say I did tweak her recipe a little bit because I do prefer more spice. So I actually made it a little bit more spicy. Then we will also use a pinky of ginger. So that adds a nice little bit of spice. And one tablespoon of turmeric powder. So on the original recipe, I think she uses a half or a tablespoon of curry powder, but I like to use two to three tablespoons because I like more spice. And then a little bit of cumin tossed in there. And then for additional spicing, we add basil, sage, and rosemary to the mix. I also forgot to mention, so also half a cup of raw sesame seeds. Here's the final dish. It looks so good and it tastes delicious. There's so much flavor. It just makes raw food so exciting. So what I also like to do with this is I like to add some fresh veggies on top. So I feel like this really makes the dish. For me, I add pineapple, cherry tomatoes, bell pepper, and a little bit of red onion. If you're just getting started on the raw food diet, maybe family members think that raw food is boring, this is something you could make them and they would be blown away and think you're a legit chef because it looks great and it tastes great. After dinner lately, usually I like something a little bit sweet, so I have been making a delicious vegan banana date ice cream. Only takes me two minutes to make and I love it. With this, I use about four frozen bananas. So I just break them in pieces and put them in my Vitamix. And then I use two dates in this one, so I just take out the pits. Here we have my banana date ice cream. Like you saw, it just takes like no time at all. It's two ingredients. And it's incredible. It's so good. So that's it for everything I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And I will see you next time. Bye.